Greetings, unsettled souls, and unfortunately, there is reasons to be unsettled today. Why else would I start off my show with music that sucks as bad as Faith Hill? Um, where are you Christmas? Uh, it seems a fitting song that Christelle has chosen for this following story. Um, let us remember, before I get into this, remember Angela Merkel? Remember the Christmas card that went viral? I think it was just today. Oh, remember that Jesus was an immigrant, too. We should be nice to the immigrants. And of course we should. Okay, my family has their immigration in it. Some of it, and to be dead honest, may have been Mexican. Well, it was Mexican on my dad's side, and he was illegal, and he shouldn't have been here. Uh, my great-grandfather, as it were, was not a particularly wonderful man. So, I mean, I don't have a problem with saying that illegals maybe shouldn't be here. But I'll tell you this, I don't mind welcoming people in who are really downtrodden. I don't. What I do mind is when they come in and insist on destroying the culture to which they were brought into. Nobody has taken in more radical Islamists than Germany has under the failed leadership of Angela Merkel. And these are people who are not coming into the country happily to assimilate. Again, I have a problem with Islam. Uh, the woman who was paid for much of my Christmas is Islamic. And uh, whatever Ramadan is, of which I think it just passed, I hope she had a wonderful one. I'm sure she hopes I have a wonderful Christmas, to which she is paid for most of. So I don't have a problem with differing religions, because that's how human beings interact with each other. She doesn't make me worship Allah, and I don't try to get her to go to Christian Mass. However... When you're talking about a faction of this religion, you notice it's never a Hindu. Oh, it must have been a Christian. How about a goth guy He's plowing a rare devil worship Manson Slayer? No, no, unfortunately, it was not a Baha'u's listener. It was once again, I guess it wasn't unfortunately, it is once again a practitioner of the religion of peace. The circumstances of Monday's deadly truck crash at a Christmas market in Berlin is still unclear, a senior German official said, dismissing as speculation reports the truck could have been hijacked by militants. No, it was clearly hijacked by Santa Claus and his elves coming to bring Christmas joy! Um, Twelve people injured, I, I dead, I, 48 people injured, an absolute nightmare. Just plowed it into people as they were celebrating Christmas. A survivor of the accident with the Polish truck is rescued on a stretcher in this picture in the Christmas market. Uh, it's a, it's uh, near the fashionable Kerfus Stendam Avenue in West Berlin. It looks like the Breitschensplatz Square. Beautiful area. If for those of you that I uh, wish I could, I wish I don't have the TV up because Christelle is decorating for our Christmas set. But it, it suffice to say, it's a travesty. Nobody wants to see it anyway. I'll tell you this. I'm mentioning this on your 12 days of Christmas for two reasons. First of all, make sure you hug the people that you're with extra close. People that went shopping today. People that went shopping this year. Because there's 12 people that aren't ever going to get home to their families this year in Germany. Um, there's also 48 people <coughs> that are probably going to be spending it in a lot of pain. I would imagine broken bones, God forbid, possibly paralysis, which ruin the rest of their lives on some of the 48 people. Uh, the other thing is to be very, very happy and grateful that the electors have chosen Donald Trump. Because whether or not you like the man or not, let's be real, Trump is going to go a lot further to make sure that the Islamists, and anyone for that matter, that's coming into the country, are at least here for peaceful purposes. That they are not here to harm somebody. Okay? I don't want to say be happy it happened in Germany and not here because they're still human lives. But I will say this. Let's be happy that if it had to happen somewhere, that it happened in a country that has openly let thousands and thousands of Islamists in, which we have been saying is a bad idea since the beginning, for those of us on the right, because we're realizing that these people are going in large instances to come here to harm us. And for that matter, they would harm the wonderful, nice Islamic person who paid for my Christmas. Why? Because she's not wearing a burqa. Because she's giving money to somebody who's writing poems for Islam who is Christian. Okay, so we're not talking about Islam as a religion here. We're talking about people who are out to destroy our lives and unfortunately our way of life and even our Christmas holiday. Thank you for listening, friends. That's your 12 days of Christmas, uh, day 8, I believe it is. Make sure you comment and make sure you uh, please donate to the show. You can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com. You can donate to PayPal. 
And that'd be great, because let's face it, I have managed to have, uh, I've had my water shut off, I've had my electric shut off, times are not great. So I would be very grateful if my listeners would support the show. Thank you, friends. Good night, and God bless.